got my favorite tool. I haven't had this thing out since this summer. And unfortunately, the thing that we use this on is pivot tie. So yes, even in January, we're still working on these things. And I like to say that irrigation is the biggest blessing because we have water on demand and we have wells that are deep and not drying up anytime soon and a rising water table. But it's also the biggest curse because we are always doing something with pivots and they're always, always broken. Like this one, for example. You see up there? Rusted out. Broken. No good. So uh, actually, the most of the spans from this particular pivot are not usable anymore because of the actual pipe. But the tires are really good. These tires are actually like brand new. They still got the little grippies on them. See that? The little, the little you know, those, the little, are for, those are for extra grip, right? <laughs> the little grippies are still on there. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, Helps to get through that deep mud. <laughs> absolutely. Like the gearboxes and center drives are still good. And so we're not going to like put these in a junkyard yet. They're not going to scrap. They're going out here in a neat little pile so that when we need to rob parts off of them, we can. Easily accessible right here. But um, a different used pivot is going up in place of these spans because that rust is no good. But these tires are perfectly good, so we're going to take these off. And then I guess just uh, keep moving spans over here. We are using the homemade crane that Grant's grandpa put together himself. It's pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Take a cl closer look at this thing. Don't look too close to the tires. They're kind of... The tires are kind of bad, but everything else is really, really they are, uh Almost round. <laughs> <laughs> this is for extra grip right here. Yeah, that's the, the extra grip. Mud. Yeah. Pretty impressive, though. He made it himself. It's pretty obvious. All right. I forgot how much I loved this thing. Ooh, almost got it. You holding these? Yep. I, mean, I should have brought our little magnet tray out. I forgot about that. Yeah. We'll screw them back into the hole so they don't get lost. <laughs> okay. There's our last one. It should drop off, right? Uh, we'll probably have to kick it off. Ooh. Just, All right, stand just... back. You got it. Wow, well done. Now, do you think we can put that in the Ranger? Oh, I'm gonna try. Oh, let's get the other one off first. Ready? Yep. Oh, it kicked back. <laughs> oh, it kick again. Oh man. Can we try? No, you hold the bolts. I'll kick again. Yeah, both feet this time. Both feet? How's that gonna work? We do a flying jump kick. Roundhouse it. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little more rusty, huh? Is it moving at all? Oh, hold on. Where'd my crowbar go? Your crowbar? What is that going to do? You're just going to bend that poor screwdriver. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I'm going to do a little sideways action. I'm up on my side. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, no! <laughs> well, successfully flipped a tire. Uh, tire flip for the day.
Okay, uh, we, have here, to go, we have to go let's, straight up yeah. and then over. Sorry. One, One two, three. Right. That's always my first step when I get in the tractor after Grant's been in it. After he gets out of the tractor and I sit in the air ride seat, I'm like, my feet don't even touch the ground. I have to put it all the way down. All right, I got the crane. Grant's got the tires. I love driving tractors. I just operated the crane and Grant put that little cart under the pivot span. Do you see that? So obviously the pivot tires go this way and these cart tires go this way so we can drag it down the road. Now we bring the crane around to the front of the span, hook it up and then we'll lift it up and pull it. And that cart that we put under the other side of the span, we'll just drag it along. Just going nice and slow, 1.3 miles an hour. Span goes way back there and Grant is in charge of steering the cart. Now we're going to lift the tongue of the cart up with the chain so that relieves the tension on that chain, unhook that, and then use the winch on the ranger to pull that cart out once we hook a chain up there and lift the entire tower up. Complicated operation here. Ready? Now we hook the cart up to the crane, pull the cart back to the pivot, and do it all over again. Oh. <laughs> Stinky uh, cat. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick break from moving pivot spans because I really, really felt like we needed to update you on this. The last video left off with a cliffhanger. We were doing some service and maintenance to the semi truck. And the first thing that we started doing was we replaced all the batteries. That went very smoothly. But then we went on to changing the oil, which went smoothly in the beginning. And then it quickly went awry when we went to take the filters off. And I mean horribly wrong. If you'd like to watch that, you can go back to the previous video. We're making some progress and I just really felt like you guys needed to be included in that. So we've been beating at it with a hammer and a punch and we have slowly gotten it to turn. I would really like to thank each and every one of you for your incredibly helpful comments. Um, Grant and I are still learning. I learned a ton from the comments. Um, and I definitely have some things I'm going to do differently next time. Grab that first filter that's in the pan down there. Yeah, here. Let me just give you a So we've gotten one. one of the filters off. It's a little slippery. I wonder why. I drove a giant punch through there and put a breaker bar on it and turned off. Took some tooken, but it took some tooken. <laughs> took some tooken. Yeah. Well. But so that was the easy one. <laughs> the other one's still on there, but I think I've almost got it off. I've been, I've been beating on the edge, the top edge, with a hammer and punch, which has been working surprisingly well. I've turned it about a quarter turn. I think I'm about ready to twist it off. But the, the so I had to do that because the bottom, I pretty much twisted the whole bottom you off. It. So we're going. We're almost there. So if you wanted uh, an inside look. At an oil filter, just kind of squint your eyes, look real close. It's just some pleats of paper in there. There you go. That the oil flows through. 
catch all the uh, I can articles. see you through it. Oh, really? Yikes. I got the rod through there. Get my little extension. And oh, look at that. Is it coming? Oh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's coming. I probably have five hours into getting this filter off. That is not an exaggeration. One filter, five hours. Oh, yes. Sweet victory. How does it feel? Oh, it feels good. The semi truck's dead weight in the shop, plugging everything up. Ooh. This little guy has not been much of a help. He's learning for next time, though. Victory. <gasps> oh, let's see the carnage. Oh, pretty much my. almost ripped the bottom off. That's all obliterated. That was ooh, <laughs> rough deal. Tough scene. Got it. Can't see a thing. Welcome to the life of a mechanic. Snug enough so they don't leak, but easy enough to take off. Got it. Here, I'm gonna hand you a paper towel so you can clean up the drippers. Alright. Scotty's checking out the truck. What do you think, dude? Scotty, do you like it? Piece of junk. How'd he get up there? He's got, he's got the hops. I guess. Still going. What gallon are we on now? I thought you were counting. Uh, no. <laughs> I brought no, the, I brought I'm, the I'm perfect just, amount I'm, of oil. I'm just kidding. I, we have one two and a half gallon jug and we're probably halfway through this two and a half gallon jug. All right. Hopefully your batteries are still good. Yeah. Paid a lot of money for those batteries. I hope it's still good. That's a good sign. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't a rod falling out of the block. I'm sure. You're smoking up the shop, Laura. <laughs> what what have I said about rod, smoking in the shop? Right? No smoking in the shop. It's a rule. Smack not your legs, right? Something like that. That was better than last time. All right, oil change complete. That's step two of getting this truck ready to go pick up a trailer. Grant's getting a workout in with all these chains. <laughs> Unhappy camper. Stopped up here by the bin site to take the tires off. A good kick. Oh, close. One more. Oh, two more. Well done. Woo. Got a Christmas song stuck in my head. Jingle bells or Rudolph the Red Roses Reindeer? No, uh, joy to the world, but like the third verse. We have arrived out in this pivot's resting place. We're going to have to steer. So pull that pin out. Set that up there. Laura's gonna drive up and around that weed patch, and I'm gonna steer the pivots 
up next to those other ones. Do that. This thing. Stick it in there. And voila, I can steer the tires now. Now we're pretty much crab walking this pivot. It's getting pretty muddy out here, so it's kind of sliding around. I guess that's my job, huh? Got another span all hooked up and ready to go. I hope this gave you a little insight on what it's like to move a pivot. Hope you learned something. A um, lot more pivot projects where those came from. So if this video interests you, even in the slightest, be sure to subscribe. I've got lots of other content and uh, more to come for this year. So I hope you enjoyed today's video um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.